been interested in the death and dying movement, so we'd go down, I'd go into New York City and the New York Open Center. I don't know if anybody knows about that time, the late 90s, when hospice was really, really kind of flourishing. There was a lot going on. There were big conferences. The uh, New York Open Center had conferences called the Art of Dying Conferences, and we had speakers like Ram Dass, um, Deepak Chopra, uh, Joan Halifax, you know, people that are a little bit on the alternative side, but there were also Tibetan monks, there were Catholic priests. It was, uh, Robert Thurman was there from Columbia University. Uh, it was really an amazing time. And I got very inspired from this. Even though I was, I was still a PT, I'm doing my PT work, but I'm working with geriatric patients, and I knew that I needed to do some work in this area. And so I, I went there and I just kind of really took in as much information as I could. And so um, then I got to know uh, Pat over the years after that. And Pat, uh, my co-author, is um, she got involved in death and dying work a long time ago. And she actually knew uh, uh, Kubler-Ross, and she knew a lot of people on the West Coast who uh, uh, Rabbi um, Zalman Schachter is a friend of hers. And so she was really pretty knowledgeable about the whole death and dying. So what we did was we kind of wrote the book, and I pretty much wrote uh, most of the first part, and she kind of did the last few chapters, which more go into uh, death and dying work.